All right, uh, Shalom, I'm Masharallah. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory uh, due to Yahweh Shimon Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to all you Akim that are pushing the work of Yahweh Shimon Shai uh, throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and in truth, okay? Now, I was reading, uh, you know, uh, the book of Sarak, the 30th chapter a while ago, you know, and I wanted to do a video on this. Um, you know, uh, it basically goes and talks about, you know, how you're supposed to raise your children. Now, you know, the way uh, the system is set up, you know, it's basically set up to take the man, which is the head of the household, to take the man, you know, out of the house, you know, and have this woman, you know, raise, you know, our sons and daughters, you know. Uh, you know, not saying that, you know, I'm a woman can't, you know, raise children, but they get to a certain, you know, age where the man, you know, takes over and pretty much raises that child, man, because, you know, uh, children, you know, once they, you know, reach a certain age, they don't respect their moms no more, man, okay, but as soon as the father walks in the house, you know, they get afraid and they obey, you know, the father, but since Esau took the man out of the household, now you got rebellious children, man, you know, children, you know, that are pretty much just raised by their mothers, you know, who basically, you know, she can't do it, but, you know, on, on her own, the way the system is set up is to destroy the household, so they take the man out of the household, now you got bad children, you know, and then now when the children grows up, you you know, they don't know how to uh, discipline, you know, their children, and then pretty much the whole, uh, you know, uh, nation is fucked, man, okay, but the scripture talks, and it gives you, you know, instruction on how to raise your children, okay, you know, if you gotta, you know, I'm gonna beat your children, you know, for them to understand, it's okay, it's in the scriptures, man, okay, but Esau, you know, has a system set up for us to, to, you know, Esau basically has a system for us to destroy ourselves, man, okay, so, this curve, you know, uh, the, uh, you know, the um, scripture, you know, that I'm about to read, you know, goes into all of that, man. But it says right here in the book of Sarak, you know, chapter 30, verse 1. It says, He that loveth his son causeth him oft to feel the rod. What's that rod? You know, it's a whooping stick, man. Okay? So, the scripture just said that if you love your son, okay, you're going to cause him to feel that rod. You're going to beat him. Why? Because that installs discipline. Okay, but what does Esau say? Esau says you can't beat your children at all. Okay, now, you know, that sounds great to the kids, but they don't understand that, you know, they're not going to learn shit, man. Because when these kids grow up, you know, they are disrespectful, man. Okay, you know, and when you can't, you know, beat your own children, that goes to show that Esau is actually in control of your children, man. Okay, because if you beat your children, then, you know, they can call the cops, and then now, you know, they're going to take your children to social service or whatever it is, man. Okay? Foster homes or whatever it is. So, you really have no control over your children in this kingdom, man. This goes to show that this is hell, man. Okay? Your own seed, you can't control them. Okay? And it says, He that loveth his son causeth, causeth him off to feel the rod, that he may have joy of him at the end, that's right, man, you know, just like, you know, with us, you know, our parents, you know, when we were children, our parents would beat us and tell us one day you'll understand, okay, and then when you, you know, reach a certain age, you know, you'll understand why, you know, what your parents, why and what they did was actually good for you, because now, you know, you are becoming a better man or woman, okay, but, you know, you got these, uh, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a, you got these, uh, you know, I'm a little kid today who don't, you know, get disciplined, you know, who pretty much talk back to their, you know, parents, you know, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a cuss at them or whatever it is. You know, I've seen children who, you know, basically will give the middle finger to their pops or, you know, their moms, man. I goes to show you that these kids think that they can do whatever they want. Why? Because there's no uh, order in the household, okay? It says, he that loveth his son causeth him off to fill the rod. So, that's why the Lord Yahabash Shai said that he loveth whom he chasteneth, man. Okay, when you're in this truth and you're going through hell, that means that the Lord Yahweh Hashem Hashem loves it because He wants you to go through that fire in order for you to understand, you know, and, you know, get the experience and learn from it. So then, you know, next time if something comes up, you'll know what to do. So everything, you know, has a learning process to it, man. Okay, nothing happens by accident. The reason why you're going through hell is because the Lord needs you to go through that fire in order for you to accept your reward, man. Nothing comes easy, okay? It says... 
that he may have joy of him in the end. That's right. So when you beat your children, you will, you know, have joy in them because now, you know, they are raised up properly. They're disciplined. They respect people. When someone comes into their homes, you know, they'll say hello. Okay, now just walk into the room. Disrespectful. Okay, so that's you having joy of your children when you teach them the right way. Okay, but that's what we're going to be doing in the kingdom. In this kingdom, we can only do so much. Okay, so we don't have control of that, man, okay? And it says, He that chasteneth his son shall have joy in him and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintances. Okay, so he that chasteneth his son shall have joy in him. How do you have joy in your son? Because now you've raised up one just like you, okay? You've taught your son or your daughter how to act like a man or a woman around people, okay? Not just to do whatever the hell you want. You can't just disrespect people. Okay, so everything, you know, has, um, you know, um, its purpose and everything has, its, you know, everything is in its own order, you know, given by the man. The man of the household is the one that teaches, you know, what goes on and what does not go on. Okay, but when you don't have the man in the house, then now the children can do whatever the hell they want. Okay, and it says, he that chasteneth his son shall have joy in him. And shall rejoice of him among his acquaintances. That's right, man. Because when you you know come around your friends, you know, or your you know, I'm a you know, I'm a people that you know, you know, you basically um you know um what's the word, you know um you know I'm a for a lack of a better term, you know, you'll be at peace, man, knowing that your children you know are disciplined, you know, and they respect people. You'll actually you know be proud of you know the works that you've done. With your children, man, okay? And it says, He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. And that's the point right there, okay? When you teach your son, it grieves the enemy. So right now, you know, if you discipline your children, okay? If you put that rod on them, you know, and you discipline, you know, you chastise your children, Esau gets mad. Esau gets mad. Why? Because now you're raising up, you know, uh, basically, a, you know, a better man. You know, or a better woman, and Esau does not want to see that. Esau wants to see our nation, you know, uh, basically be dumb, you know, and destroyed. So when you teach and you correct your children, it grieves the enemy. That's why Esau basically, you know, will come in and take your children away from you for whooping the man. Okay? And it says, He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Though his father die, Yet he is as though he were not dead. That's right, because you left another one just like you, man. Okay, you taught, you know, you taught your son or your daughter what you were taught. Okay, so everything, you know, basically, uh, you know, like he says, you know, though his father die, yet he is as though he were not dead. Why? Because, you know, you left another one like you behind. Okay, so to speak. Okay, and it says... For he has left one behind him that is like himself. That's right, man. So you left one behind you just just like you. Okay? So basically all the principles, you know, and you know, all you know, all of your morals, you know, were pushed down to your son or your daughter, so then now they carry on that, you know, I'm a tradition or whatever, you know, so I'm you know, I'm a sort of say. Okay? And it says While he lived he saw and rejoiced in him, and when he died he was not sorrowful. That's right, man. Okay? You know? Because now you understand that, you know, I've done all, you know, that I could, you know, for my son or my daughter. Now, you know, if I leave, you know, uh, they will take over, you know, so to say, you know, they're in good hands, you know, with, you know, their children's children or whatever it is. So you basically, you know, are not going to be sorrowful, you know, moving on, you know, passing on. Okay? And it says, he left behind him an avenger against his enemies. That's right, man. Okay, so you teach your children what's good and what's evil. And Esau is evil, so you got to teach your children that, man. Okay? But how to maneuver around that, too, at the same time. And it says, He left behind him an avenger against his enemies and one that shall requite kindness to his friends. That's right, so he understands both sides. You know, being an, you know, um, being an avenger and also how to be kind to your friends, okay? He that maketh too much of his son, slake. He that maketh too much of his son shall bind up his wound, and his bowels will be troubled at every cry. 
Let's pray. And horse not broken becometh headstrong, and a child left to mm. himself will be willful. That's right, man. So, you know, like it says, you know, a horse not uh, not broken becometh headful, and a child left to himself will be willful. So, uh, in other, you know, in other words, if you just leave your children and you let them do whatever they want, they will become willful because then now they just want. You know uh, everything that they desire though it might not be good for them okay so you got to teach them no that's wrong okay you know like it says if you love your children you will chastise them you will beat the hell out of them, man okay just to teach them a lesson okay don't put your hand on the stove if you put it it'll burn and the next time they're gonna remember that you know I can't do that shit because my father will beat my ass okay and it says cocker thy child and he shall make thee afraid play with him and he will bring thee to heaven that's right so you gotta basically have balance man you can't just be playing with your children all the goddamn time man because now you know they're not gonna have that respect towards you man you gotta show them you know when it's serious time it's serious time you know when it's time to play it's time to play so you gotta know both sides because then now you know your children will look on you know will look at you and basically you know know and understand what time it is if you only teach them that way if you just play with them all the goddamn time that's what they will you know expect from you all the all the time man okay and it says laugh not with him lest thou lest thou have sorrow with him and and lest thou uh, gnash thy teeth in the end. Okay, let me read that again. Laugh not with him, lest thou have sorrow with him, and lest thou gnash thy teeth at the end. That's right. So it's just basically giving you balance, man. Give him no liberty in his youth, and wink not at his follies. That's right. So don't just let him get away with whatever, man. Okay, even if it's small, you teach them. Okay, because, you know, when they're at a younger age, it's better to basically, you know, uh, you know, I'm going to push out all the right laws, you know, towards your children, man. Because then when they grow up, they'll understand. But if you just let them, you know, if you let them slip away, you know, they're going to think, you know, um, it's all right. Or whatever it is, you know, although they might, you know, do something, they're going to uh, basically, uh, you know, think that, you know what, you know, last time, you know, uh, you know, my mom or my dad, you know, they let me get away with it, you know, so they might basically, you know, that thought, you know, that thought might creep up, you know, um, inside of them to do something negative, to do something bad, okay? So you, you can't wink at their follies. He says, bow down his neck while he is young. That's right. So bow down his neck while he is young. Because when they get to a certain age, then they do whatever the hell they want, man. Okay? And it says, And beat him on the side while he is a child, lest he wax stubborn and be disobedient unto thee, and so bring sorrow to thine heart. So do everything when they're children. Do everything, you know, that is right when they're little. Because, you know, when they wax older, they become stubborn and then you're going to basically, you know, have a hard time. You know, you're going to become stressful. And it says, chastise thy son and hold him to labor, lest he lewd behavior, lest his lewd behavior be an offense unto thee. Better is the poor. Oh, so like, you know, Ahmad, that was the point, you know, but uh, basically, you know, the scripture is giving us instructions of, uh, you know, on how to raise our children, okay, which is a beautiful thing because nothing is left outside of the scriptures, man. Everything that we need and everything that we must know, everything is in the Bible, man, okay, everything is in the scripture, which is a beautiful thing. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22. So, like it. This is the book of Proverbs, 